This is a video by Richpin. Today we're working on a Dodge Neon. This happens to be a 2002 model. Have you ever had a problem on the Neon where it misfired and you went to change the plugs and you noticed that there was oil down inside the tube and one of the tubes looks like this? It's higher than the other one. This is a very common problem. What happens is the tube has come out of the head. So I'm going to show you how to fix that today. Now before we remove our spark plug wires, we want to label them so we get them in the right place when we put them back. Next we need to remove these four 10 millimeter head bolts that secure the coil to the valve cover. Uh, you can leave the wire connected on it if you want or remove it. Next we need to remove the fresh air hose here from the cover. And we need to remove this hose from the PVC. Remove that. Next we need to remove this wire from these two brackets right here. They give us a little room. There we go. That will give us clearance for the cover when we remove it. We need to open this little bracket up here. So we can position our wires away from the cover. There we go. Next we need to remove these 10 millimeter headed bolts to secure the cover. There are 10 of them. You'll turn it all the way out till you can't turn it anymore. And just give a little pull and it will pull out the little o-ring with it. Okay, once you've got those 10 bolts out, you should be able just to pull off the cover by grabbing it from the back right here. And if it gives you any trouble, just use a little block of wood. Okay, there it is. And the tube came right out. Now, if that tube did not come out, and you have to take it out of the head, take something like this, a 15 millimeter deep well impact socket, and it will fit right in the tube. And then put your vice grips right over there like that, and work it side to side, and you'll be able to pull the tube right out of the head. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is get down in there, sop up that oil, and clean the oil all around where the tube goes. Now to sop up that oil down in the well down there, I take a piece of newspaper, give it a little fold up the center like that, and I can go right in there, and I can wick that oil right out of there. Like so. I'll take the oily part of the paper with some scissors and just cut it off. And now you can reuse that long piece that you cut out of the newspaper. All right, we got all the heavy oil out of the bore. And we're just about ready to put the tube back in place. Now what we're going to do is take a little brake clean. We've got a long screwdriver and a rag. I'm going to put a little brake cleaner on there. And we're going to go down in there and we're going to swab that bore. Any little residue that's left, we're going to take care of that. There we go. She should be all clean now. Okay, now you want to take your valve cover, take the old gasket out, clean the groove right here, and get yourself a new gasket set. Now the uh, gasket goes in with this ridge right here facing out. So she'll go in just like this. So it's just like that with this this ridge facing out. Now the valve cover gasket set comes 
with these tube seals and it comes with these seals for the bolts. Okay, now it's time to put in the tube. Now the factory service manual recommends some red Loctite for that. So, a little Loctite on there. Okay. Now take a block of wood and tap it into position. There it is. All in place. Now we can put our valve cover back in place. There she be. Now after you get the valve cover all secured, make sure you put this wire back into position, put the coil back, Put the fresh air hose back, put the PCV back into position, and if you happen to have any of the spark plug boots that have oil on them, you want to clean those off with brake cleaner. And that's all there is to repairing your spark plug tube on your Dodge Neon.